Byzantium was an ancient Greek colony on the site that later became Constantinople, and later still Istanbul. Byzantium was colonized by Greek colonists from Megara in 657 BC. Name the etymology of Byzantine is unknown. It has been suggested that the name is a thraco illyrian origin. It may be derived from a Thracian or Illyrian personal name, Byzas. Ancient Greek legend refers to a legendary king Byzas, the leader of the Megrian colonists and founder of the city. The form Byzantium is a Latinization of the original name. Much later, the name Byzantium became common in the West to refer to the Eastern Roman Empire, the Byzantine Empire, whose capital Constantinople stood on the site of ancient Byzantium. This usage was introduced only in 1555 by the German historian Hieronymus Wolff, a century after the empire had ceased to exist. During the time of the empire, the term Byzantium was restricted to just the city, rather than the empire that it ruled. History The European side featured only two fishing settlements, Lygos and Semestra. The origins of Byzantium are shrouded in legend. The traditional legend has it that Byzas from Megara founded Byzantium in 667 BC when he sailed northeast across the Aegean Sea. The tradition tells that Byzas, son of King Nissos, planned to found a colony of the Dorian Greek city of Megara. Byzas consulted the Oracle of Apollo at Delphi, which instructed Byzas to settle opposite the land of the blind. Leading a group of Megarian colonists, Byzas found a location where the Golden Horn, a great natural harbor, meets the Bosphorus and flows into the Sea of Marmara, opposite Chalcedon. He judged the Chalcedonians blind not to have recognized the advantage as the land on the European side of the Bosphorus had over the Asiatic side. In 667 BC he founded Byzantium at their location, thus fulfilling the oracle's requirement. Cape Moda in Chalcedon was the first location which the Greek settlers from Megara chose to colonize in 685 BC. Prior to colonizing Byzantine on the European side of the Bosphorus under the command of King Byzas in 667 BC, it was mainly a trading city due to its location at the Black Sea's only entrance. Byzantium later conquered Chalcedon, across the Bosphorus on the Asiatic side. Byzantium was besieged by Greek forces during the Peloponnesian War, as part of Sparta's strategy for cutting off grain supplies to Athens. Sparta took the city in 411 BC. The Athenian military later took the city in 408 BC, after siding with Pechenius Niger against the victorious Septimius Severus. The city was besieged by Roman forces and suffered extensive damage in 196 AD. Byzantium was rebuilt by Septimius Severus, now emperor, and quickly regained its previous prosperity. It was bound to Perinthos during the period of Septimius Severus. The location of Byzantium attracted Roman Emperor Constantine I who, in 330 AD, refounded it as an imperial residence inspired by Rome itself. After his death the city was called Constantinople. This combination of imperialism and location would affect Constantinople's role as the nexus between the continents of Europe and Asia. It was a commercial, cultural, and diplomatic center. With its strategic position, Constantinople controlled the route between Asia and Europe, as well as the passage from the Mediterranean Sea to the Black Sea. On May 29, 1453, the city fell to the Ottoman Turks, and again became the capital of a powerful state, the Ottoman Empire. The Turks called the city Istanbul, the name derives from Eyes Tinpaline. To this day it remains the largest and most populous city in Turkey, although Ankara is now the national capital. Emblem though associated with the Sassanid Persians and with Mithridates Viupeta, by the late Hellenistic or early Roman period. The star and crescent motif had been associated to some degree with Byzantium. For example, some Byzantine coins of the 1st century BC and later show the head of Artemis with bow and quiver, and feature a crescent with what appears to be a six-rayed star on the reverse. 
according to accounts which vary in some of the details. In 340 BC the Byzantines and their allies the Athenians were under siege by the troops of Philip of Macedon. On a particularly dark and wet night Philip attempted a surprise attack but was thwarted by the appearance of a bright light in the sky. This light is occasionally described by subsequent interpreters as a meteor, sometimes as the moon, and some accounts also mention the barking of dogs. However, the original accounts mention only a light in the sky, without specifying the moon. To commemorate the event the Byzantines erected a statue of Hecate Lampadophorus. This story survived in the works of Hesychius of Miletus, who in all probability lived in the time of Justinian I. His works survive only in fragments preserved in Photius and the 10th century lexicographer Suidas. The tale is also related by Stephanus of Byzantium and Eustathius. Devotion to Hecate was especially favoured by the Byzantines for her aid in having protected them from the incursions of Philip of Macedon. Her symbols were the crescent and star, and the walls of her city were her provenance. It is unclear precisely how the symbol Hecate, Artemis, one of many goddesses would have been transferred to the city itself but it seems likely to have been an effect of being credited with the intervention against Philip and the subsequent honours. This was a common process in ancient Greece, as in Athens where the city was named after Athena in honour of such an intervention in time of war. Later, under the Romans, cities in the empire often continued to issue their own coinage. Of the many themes that were used on local coinage, celestial and astral symbols often appeared, mostly stars or crescent moons, the wide variety of these issues and the varying explanations for the significance of the star and crescent on Roman coinage precludes their discussion here. It is, however, apparent that by the time of the Romans, coins featuring a star or crescent in some combination were not at all rare. Notable people Homerus, tragedian, lived in the early 3rd century BC. Philo, engineer, lived California. 280 BC California 220 BC. Epigenes of Byzantium, astrologer, lived in the 3rd-2nd century BC. Aristophanes of Byzantium, a scholar who flourished in Alexandria, 3rd-2nd century BC.